What is happening, everyone? God bless you all. What else is happening from the latest and greatest from the religion of peace? In Australia, it seems like they're suffering from a wave of Islamic terror. Can this be now any more reason of awakening from Western society or any freedom-loving country that enjoys their freedom? Are they going to wake up now and finally see the wave of Islam whenever they entered in? They want to bring their problem. They want to force their views. They think that nobody can talk about them. So how do you defeat something like this if they are here? The way I look at it is why would I want to spend money or do business with any Islamist owner from restaurants to real estate? Why give your money when they will use their money to fund to wherever they wanted to let it grow? Or even if it's here to stay, they not bother anybody. They want to find anywhere to influence and to empower to bring their Sharia crap bag in this country living like a stone age. But let's take a look and see what happened now. Another week, another Muslim terror stabbing. The Islamophobia alerts. Gosh, I, I, I love when only Muslims can use that term. You're Islamophobe. No, and I'm going to use reverse psychology. You are a Christophobe. You're a Jewish phobe. You're a Hindu phobe. You're an anti-liberal conservative phobe. Whatever it may be. You're a phobia of all things that is not Islam. This started with a Muslim teen stabbing a bishop in Sydney, Australia. As we all know of Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel that led to the arrest of seven Muslim teens. It turned out that they wanted to go out go out, I mean to go on on a rampage killing Jews. Remember in Islam, if they want another way of guaranteed salvation, they need to start on aliving Jews and then second Christians. And now a white a white teen, sixty year old convert to Islam stabbed a man in the back in Perth and was shot dead by police. Good job, police officers. The 16-year-old was apparently in an online radicalization program for years, which suggests that he'd converted to Islam a while back and the authorities had been tracking him for some time. The authorities and the media are assuring us that he was mentally unstable. No, he's not mentally unstable. He knew what he was doing. Anyone that follows 100% of the Quran and the Hadith, 100% you're going to become a radical. But there seems to be a particular outbreak of mental instability involving Muslim teens and knives. Surely a pattern that only an Islamophobe would notice. The thing is, a lot of these Muslims youth are so ignorant, especially these converts. I don't understand a lot of these Caucasians converting again. Why would you buy into it that they are the religion of peace? Knowing that they left that country because Allah cannot do crap over there. They look like crap bags because of Sharia. And they all want to cry when it comes to the West. Islam is an unstable religion. You can't say that you're going to follow Islam all the way and they act like, Oh, I do want to come here, live a nice life. Oh, I think Allah, forgive me this and this in America. No, Allah told you not to blend in with kafirs in the Quran. And I don't have to repeat myself from the passages because you guys can find it in 2024 and all over the social media or YouTube. But it's in there. And I know it because, well, I was taught growing up as a Muslim. So who do we start blaming more? Indeed, we have to start calling out all these liberal politicians and certain conservative too. I have to be honest. It's not all conservatives do believe in God, but sometimes they could get trapped in it if they're not aware. Like, how much do you want history to repeat itself? Have you forgotten the crusade? Are you far-left liberals buying that garbage? That it was the Christians that did it? No, you can't defend yourself in case you don't understand. You people that are crying out there in the university, stop hurting me, shut the hell up. You're a bunch of coward little new generation men. You don't see what they're trying to do to the next generation to weaken a nation? That's what Islam was. They, make, they want to make you feel condemned so they can continue attacking you. And by the time you get used up, you're going to get played. And they're playing you right now. And everything that I say is from experience. So I say again, when will the government start waking up unless you are part of the one world system? Is it that we're seeing today as the Bible is being foretold? 
because we do know that in the end in the last days many of the one world system will be mostly of a socialistic communistic mindset and control I do see that Islam also plays a role as the B system and Muslims you have no idea how blinded you are right now that you are now trapped you're actually following the B system if you don't start paying attention to the text start questioning the Quran don't play this game the Bible says this and that you can't even handle your own book you think that you can use the Bible to deflect people to follow Islam when when you're trying to hide a lot of things not to bring those passages up in the Quran you think that you could convert people out of it without even looking at the Quran also when people start seeing that the Quran is so opposite that it's nowhere near from the Bible nothing but copied and plagiarized all retarded sentences retarded statement Allah having a, a, his little period moment because he can't handle criticism because nobody wants to follow him but the true living God of the Bible doesn't cry about it he gives you the choice but he warns you the stumbling blocks you will go through in life this is not a competition about the fastest growing religion the true living God says there will be more people in hell than people going to heaven maybe that is something to think about perhaps you need to take the warning sign as a reminder when the first time God destroyed the world by flooding how many people were saved out of the millions of people on this earth only seven people just Noah and his family so think about that I hope Australia starts waking up of the liberal government I hope you start looking into the Islamic doctrine do not let these people cry make you cry about it, to not talk about us Maybe you need to tell the Muslims why they don't call out on the Chinese government, on the Uyghur Muslims. That's how you know they're a car religion. That's the one thing I give props to China. They got them on, a, on the neck hold that they ain't going to bring that BS over there. So where are you at, Muslims? Where are your Mujahideen fires to China, huh? Who's the, I don't see you guys going out there getting the Uyghur Muslims. And I'm still going to bring that up and remind you guys. You think that you could pick on the easy people that you could use our democratic system for your ways. Screw you, Islamist. Remember, Islam and democracy will never go hand in hand. Like, share it, be awakened, always educate yourself, study the word, never back from the truth. God bless you all, and I'll talk to you soon.